hi everyone. Today I'm going to quickly just run through how to make collections in Steam, as well as afterwards I will show you how to download your friends' collections. Some games like Gary's Mod need all of you and your friends to have the exact same mods downloaded in file folders so you can see what each other has, otherwise you just get a bunch of error messages. So collections are just sort of a way to save all of your different mods that you have for a multiplayer game you might play with friends all in one folder and then they can go find it and download the exact same mods just as easily so let's get into it so from the steam store page we'll just want to go to workshop once you get in there you're just going to want to go into that search bar and search whichever game it is that you want to make a collection for so let's do gary's mod okay so once you're in here all you honestly have to do is go to browse collections and then you'll just get to where all of the hottest newest collections are listed all you have to do is click create collection then you can give it a name and just if you want you can pick a picture to sort of go with it maybe of the mods or a general poster for what you have in there then you can throw a description in for anyone that might be looking into downloading it and then these options here we have two different options. There's one that's for mods, items that work together, which means if you download all the mods in that folder, they won't be conflicting with each other. So you want to make sure when you're downloading them, you make sure that they're compatible with each other so that you don't download a bunch of files that are overwriting parts of each other and making it impossible for your game to run properly. So for me, I make sure all of them run together. So when you do that, there's an option in your collection for people to hit subscribe to all which will automatically download all of the mods in that collection for whoever is viewing it or you can do it manually where you have to choose which mods you're going to get out of that collection then you can just pick some tags for what types of mods you have in there honestly this is more for just posting on the steam workshop if you're just making it for friends this doesn't matter too much once you get into the next page honestly you're pretty much done you there's the two collections I already have existing. Now a cool thing is if you want them to have those as well, you can add them and it will link them at the bottom of your screen. So that means when they're going to download this collection, they will have the option to download that collection as well. So you won't have to keep adding all of the new mods to every single collection when you update it. And then you can just go straight in and select, and just click on all the mods you want to add to your collection. And then all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom, hit save and continue, and once you've clicked on that, you're done. Your collection you can publish, and then any friend or anyone on the Steam Workshop can actually find that collection. So now I'm going to show you, say your friends have made a collection, the easiest way for you to get in there and just download that collection as well so that you have compatible files for gaming. Here we are starting at the Steam Store page. So we'll go into the Steam Workshop, and then you'll do the exact same thing you did before. You'll enter the game you're looking for, so we'll do Gary's Mod again, for example. And once again, you're going to browse collections. And once you select friends items, it'll show every collection made by your friends here. So for example, my friend Dan made this one when we started playing Gmod and he added all these manually, all you have to do is click subscribe to all and the next time you log into Gary's Mod, all of these mods will automatically download so that you guys will know that you have the exact same files and you won't have any error messages of viewing each other's player models or NPCs they might be spawning in, even certain maps or pretty much anything else that could be used in the game. So this is just a really easy way of just getting the same mods as your friends and being able to play. I hope this helped anyone out that was confused. It's a pretty simple process, but we had a really hard time figuring it out at first, uh, so I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.